fly with the moon on their wings. These are a few of my favorite things. Hi everyone, how are you tonight? Welcome back. I have got a ton of crap piled up on my on my vanity here that I have gotten in in the last couple of days. You know, and that really bums me out because I kind of like my packages to be spread out so that I get a little bit of happiness every day, you know, but no. They all came in like the last two days. And of course I want to, you know, show you guys. So I've got them piled up all over my desk and when you see how much stuff it is, you, you're going to wonder how I had any room to do anything, which is exactly why this is the video you're getting instead of what I had planned for you, which will be probably tomorrow, actually. It'll be up sooner than what another video normally would be, you know. So that'll be up tomorrow or the next day. So let me just get right into what I've got here because it, it's a lot and I want to put all this stuff away. And you guys know how it is when you got when you have a haul coming up, you know, to do, leave it all sitting out until you haul it. It starts piling up and you don't have any room to do anything. <laughs> so let's get started. Uh, first of all, I got an elf order in, but I got a few of the new items that I haven't seen anybody really even talking about. Now, I had the option of getting the free shipping or the $20 beauty surprise, so I took the $20 because shipping's only 4 bucks anyway. So, they sent me this, the Geometric. This was part of the free $20 beauty bundle. They sent me this Geometric palette, and it looks like it's Warms on this side, and then over here there's some Cools. And this is one of those little black beauty books, you know, that fold up. And I'm this is going to be in a giveaway. I'm not keeping this. Okay. And then as part of that $20 beauty bundle thing that I got for free, they sent me one of their shimmer lip glosses. And this one's in the color Hope. And I have this one too. And it's kind of a peachy uh, gold shimmer. It's really pretty. Really pretty lip gloss. Okay. And then they sent one of uh, all over color sticks in Toasted. This is the one that's a little bit taupe, toasted taupe. And then they sent two of their crystal uh, uh, brushes. And you know, I had always wanted a set of these just to look pretty on my vanity. But it has gotten to the point where I have so many brushes. <laughs> I don't think I'm going to keep these. I'm going to give these away to somebody too. I will tell you this though. These are super cute. Okay, I mean, look at how beautiful that is. And in the sunlight, I mean, I know that you guys are just seeing, you know, just like a clear pinky stick. But in the sunlight, this thing throws off some serious sparks, man. These are beautiful. But I don't need them. Also, I don't think, you know, I think we're all becoming accustomed to how really nice the Studio Elf brushes are. But these really suck. <laughs> when I first got this and pulled it out of the wrapper, there was like a glue ball right here. And I went to pull it off and it, it was like half the brush came out with it and stuff. But it's very pretty. What's left in there isn't going anywhere, but it's quite small. If you see how thin that is. I mean, there's like nothing to it. It's just so small. Anyways, these are coming to somebody else. Even though I just mauled this, I'll spray it with alcohol first, but it won't have been used or anything. So those are, I'm going to give those away in a giveaway somewhere down the road. And then this one here is a liner, a little liner brush. A flat top liner. Okay, so those are coming to all y'all, and that's what I got, like I said, as the beauty bundle that I opted for instead of the free shipping. Okay, and then I got um, in the e.l.f. haul, I told you guys all about the conditioning lip balms I love so much. I got the other two that I were missing, that I was missing, that I were missing. Did I just say that? Anyways, one is Berry and the other one is Innocent, Peaceful Pink. One's Peaceful Pink and the other one is Blissful Berry. And those are those two. Oh man, was I excited to see these. I put this pink one on, and my husband's like, you look like Snooky. Because <laughs> I'm sure you guys have noticed that I am a very dark woman, and I'm getting darker by the day. Doesn't matter how much sunscreen I use, I just get darker and darker. Anyways, there is the peaceful pink. Is that gorgeous or what? Oh, I love it. Okay, and then this one is the Blissful Berry, and this is just your lips but better. In fact, it looks just like the IT Cosmetics uh, lip gloss that I got in that last kit. You guys are going to notice I'm missing two nails. <laughs> Don't hate. Okay, so yeah, those are the two. Uh, I have the whole set now, so that makes me very happy. 
And I don't remember ordering this because I generally do not use pencils. Matter of fact, I just sent my Mally, that little Mally kit that I got of pencil, of the Starlighter pencils and my my Tarte pencils, two of the great big $24 Tarte pencils, I just sent them to Lynette in a goodie box because I don't use them. I don't use pencils. Um, I don't. I just don't use them. So I know I wouldn't have ordered this, but I got it. So again, this will probably go to somebody else. Um, it's the Champagne Waterproof Eyeline, Eyeliner Crayon in Champagne. And it's really pretty. Um... Hard as a friggin' rock. <laughs> well, if you can see it, it's just, you know, champagne color. And it's a twist up, so that's cool, you know, retractable. But yeah, this is probably gonna go to somebody else. I think this must have been in that in that twenty dollar bundle too. But um I just dumped everything out of my desk and I don't know. So anyways, um I got one I got the last cream liner that I needed for the whole collection, so I have them all now. And this one is in the metallic olive, and every time I went to get it it was gone. So that's that one, and this is a really pretty. I love, I love the elf liners. I just push them right into my lash line, and that's the metallic olive. And um, yeah, <laughs> that's what that is. Okay, and then I got the last two that I did not have in the collection, so now I have them all. And these are the just the single elf eyeshadows. These single shadows. And this one is Sad Dollar. And this one, is that? Yeah, that one's Sand Dollar. And this one's Raspberry Truffle. And there's Raspberry Truffle. You know, you know me, you guys. I love my maroons. And, and that's what this is. It, it's a little bit browner than I kind of thought it would be. But that's okay. I like it. And then the Sand Dollar is just a really nice matte white. Really nice. It's got really good pigmentation comes off really good. I mean, really good. Look at that. <laughs> kind of shocking, huh? But, you know, I love the packaging on these little shadows. I just love them. Nice and sturdy, sleek. It's just pretty. Okay, and then I got, I heard somebody, and I can't even really remember who it was. I think it might have been Andrea Madalano, but I heard somebody that I watched talking about the mascara primer, and they were loving it, and so I grabbed some. And it's just this you know, fiber, um, fiber infused cream looking stuff that you put on your lashes before you put your mascara on. And, uh, yeah, so that's what I got. Let me see, what does it say? Apply the mascara primer like you would your mascara and then allow it to dry fully, then layer on your mascara. So yeah, you put this on first and, but I've been hearing, I have heard several people talk about this and so I, decided why not and then elf has and one of this is one of their new products and it is their under eye hydrating primer okay now I like to use primer under my eye because of that scar plus it helps my mascara or it helps my, my eyeshadows stay where I want them and I have found that more often than not the trouble that I have with my eyeshadows really comes from down here I just lose everything on the bottom somewhere during the day it leaves me so I got this thinking that's what it was, but it's not. <laughs> this is for putting in your under eye area, and it's kind of like a, a line filler. And I have been using this, you guys, and I am going to do a before, I'm gonna do a side-by-side -side when I do a review on these, and you're gonna be really happy when I show you what I have discovered with this product. Now, I think, don't even quote me on this, I didn't even keep the, the sheet of how much these were, but I think this is only three bucks, in fact, I know it is. But, I mean, the bottle is very small. You don't get very much. It's .35 ounces. You get 10 grams of product, so it's not very much. But you also don't need very much. And it's a nice, nice little packaging. It's a little pump. See the little bitty pump? And you literally just need, like, that much for, under, for both of your under eyes. Can you see that little dot right there? And it is a, a really pale blush pinky color. Uh, really super super moist moist and it kind of feels much like the poreless face primer or like one of their primers but not as slick and then it sets up a little bit so that 
your powders and foundations, or not foundation, but your under eye concealers, don't settle into your lines. This kind of fills those lines. It's I think it's probably a lot like um, it's probably a lot like the product that uh, Lori over forty talks about that under eye skin thing that she talks about. <laughs> I think it's kind of like that. I got three of them. Because that is the place where I have the most trouble with my makeup is under my eyes. And so, yeah. Okay, and then that's all for that. The rest is high end. Okay. I got three MAC lipsticks. And I ordered these sight unseen. Um, the first one, well, actually, this one's okay. I kind of like this one. It's what I have on my lips now. And it is Coral Bliss. And these are all cream sheen. I like this Coral Bliss, but this one here, I, this one ain't too bad either. <laughs> and this one is called Ravishing, also a cream sheen. But this one here looks god-awful on me. <laughs> it does. Uh, it does. You can't really see it because it's a nude. But it's nuder than my skin. Uh, I'm going to hold out till winter and see if it'll work in the winter time, you know, when I'm not so dark, but... I don't know, those don't look too, that one didn't look too good on me. But I have found travel into the corners of my mouth when I'm talking, you know, and, and I have to keep going like this, or it will, like, pool up out here, and I do not like that. Okay, so the rest is um, high-end, okay? Now, I hit the, uh, the bomb sale, okay? You know that I told you guys all on Instagram about the 50% off flash out they had on the bomb? Well, I hit that, and I got the Meat Mad, Meat Matte palette. I am loving this palette, you guys. It is gorgeous. If you do not have an all matte palette, you need this palette. It is beautiful. I I could not be happier. Oh my gosh, I am so happy. It is just gorgeous. Look at those. I mean, for mattes, oh my gosh, it's so beautiful. Now, I'm not going to do swatches on everything because I have got an idea that I will tell you about at the end that I'm going to do but um, you, I, you will see swatches, just not in this video. And of course, the beautiful bomb packaging. I love this packaging more than any other packaging of any makeup ever. I wish I could get everything that I needed for my travel case, for my freelance case, in these handy little packaging of the bombs. I just love them. Okay, and then I purchased Cabana Boy. And this is a eyeshadow or blush. Beautiful. This is kind of gritty feeling. But um, I can't help swatch it a little bit. I can't help it. But I won't do no more, I promise. Okay, and then I got all the rest. Now, I only had two of the in-stain blushes, and I got the rest of them. So I have the entire in-stain collection now, which I'm so stoked about. So this one is Swiss Dot, and it is the token coral of the bunch beautiful and like I said I will do I'm gonna have a swatch video where I show you swatches of all these okay um, this one is Argyle and this is just the the token baby doll pink or bubblegum pink okay and this one is called I think I've showed you this and this is the one that I had previously but I might as well show you it this one's called Twal and this is the real um, you know, vibrant, in-your-face pink. Beautiful. And these next two are my favorite. This one's called Hound's Tooth, which I love, love, love. And then this one is my favorite of all of them. This is the one that I love the most, and it is called Pinstripe. And it is a deep plum. Oh, it's just gorgeous. I love it. And then there is Lace, which is what I have on my cheeks today. And it is the fluorescent, <laughs> the fluorescent pink. This is Elf's Pink Passion. The bottom one is the bomb. The top one's Elf. So, yeah, there's a perfect dupe for you. So, yeah, I got all of these and I could not be happier. So, that was all I got from the bomb. I also uh, Instagrammed all this to you guys. Inglot is um, fire selling all of their old round, uh, the round pans. And, you know, they're discontinuing. They're not even going to hold them or have them at all anymore. Because I've been building a 20 pan forever of the square, you know. I've been building it forever. And then I'll go away and I'll come back in a week or two and put, you know, a couple more into it. 
and I went there one day and I saw special offers and I clicked on it and these were in there and there were two of the 10 palettes and there's a cool one and a warm one. One I took the warm one. And if you want to see a cool one, you can go over to, um, I believe Lynette McGee bought a cool one. So I will put her link down below. Not that you guys don't know who it is. She's my buddy here. And then I got the, uh, the purple one. And they had a few of these five palettes, too, that were cool. And I think they might have had one warmer one. I got this for 18 and this for 33 So... I mean, how cool is that? Inglot. So, yeah, I'm really happy. I'm actually wishing that I would have gotten one of each of the ones that they had. Because they don't have that many. They've only got a few over there. And they used to have a 20 pan. Um, and Lynette got one of those 20 pans, too. So you could go over and see hers. But you can't get that one anymore. It's sold out. You can still get these. Okay? And then I purchased now on Hot, oh, hot Look. A while back, just recently, Patty Dubroff has her natural, it's called the Perfect Eye Palette on there. And it was for 20 bucks. And I told Lynette, you know, I have had this palette before and I have had the Spotlight Palette too. And they are gorgeous palettes. I don't know why this thing isn't sold out yet. I don't know why it came and went without becoming sold out. But these are beautiful palettes and you do not see them very much on, you know, YouTube. And Costco also sells these, which is where I ordered this one. I went on as soon as I got that natural palette off um, Holt Look. I remembered I used to have those palettes, and I loved them. So I went on Costco and got the Spotlight palette as well. And the one, when I ordered this, that was it. They wouldn't let me. I actually ordered two of these, and they would only fulfill one because they didn't have... They had more, but they had already been spoken for, and so I have to wait like 10 days is all. It's no big deal, but I have to wait until it comes in to get the other one that I got for somebody. So that is the Spotlight palette from Patty Dubrof, and it's gorgeous, you guys. I love it. Look at that beautiful taupe, and I'm not a taupe person. I don't know why I'm getting into it, but... And then there are some of the, there's the green, purple, and this gold color here. Just beautiful, you guys. They're just gorgeous. And I just can't believe that, that her other, she only put two palettes out. Two, and it is still on Costco. Uh, they just don't have it in stock. If you go there to order it, it will, you know, you'll get a window that pops up and tells you this is out of stock. But it will be in, in, you know, probably now it's only a couple days. So, yeah, 20 bucks. Good palette, too. Okay, and then I ordered, I went on um, eBay because of Lynette. This is all because of Lynette. <laughs> and I found out that there were some shades of the Infallibles that I did not have that I want. Now, I have, actually, I want them all. But I've been holding off buying ones that I would never use just because, you know, why get something that you would never use, right? And this is for my own personal collection, not not work. And so, why get something that you would never use? Colors, you know, especially in sync. But now that I've kind of got a few more, I kind of want to get the whole collection, and I'm working on that. But, uh, I, I found out, I went on eBay to look for, Lynette was, ta we were talking about the Infallibles, and she said, I really like that Marie Cherie one. What is it? Cher yeah, Cherie Marie one. I'm like, what the heck is that? And she goes, it's that coral colored one. And I'm like, what? <laughs> but to hell you say. <laughs> She's like, yeah, there's a coral colored infallible. So, of course, I immediately went to eBay. And they pop up all over the place. And this is it. And it's freaking beautiful. And it's what I have on my eyes today. Along with the purple I'm going to show you. A, a purple that I did not know they had. So, this is the Marie or Cherie Marie. Cherie Marie, and it is gorgeous. Now I am swatching these. It's a beautiful coral, you guys. Look at that. Oh, and in the infallible formula and that beautiful sparkle and, oh my gosh, it's just freaking gorgeous. Although this one is a little bit more pearly. And which is good because that makes it a little bit more wearable than the, you know, like the my favorite out of the whole line is called Golden Emerald. And it is really sparkly and I can't hardly wear it because it's so sparkly. 
Okay, and then I found this one, which I didn't know that they had. I had the five purples that I have. I didn't know that they had another one. This one's called With a Twist. And I ordered these all off eBay, and I think they cost me like $2.99, free shipping. Yeah. So hopefully L'Oreal, uh, you know, is shoving all of these older first released um, colors out and bringing in a whole new line of colors. That would be the bomb. <laughs> that would be cool because I'm on a mission now. I'm getting the whole collection. I don't care if there's things in there that I won't wear. I've got two here that I will probably never wear. But when I show you them, you'll see why I just want them. <laughs> And that's the one with the twist. It's a very, very light purple. And I do have that on my eyes today. But I did had to dark I did have to darken it up with purple priority a little bit, which is one of their darker purples. So yeah, those were really exciting. And then lo and behold, I went to Kmart that day. And they had a ton of infallibles on blowout. But it was only the two, the same two kind. There was like 30 of them, but there was 15 this one and 15 this one. I don't know what the heck of... I think that somewhere along the line somebody made a mistake on the order and inventory, you know. So anyways, this one is Midnight Blue. And I will never wear blue. Never. I, You know, green-eyed women shouldn't wear... Well, you can, you know. I just personally don't care for blue eyeshadow. But look at that freaking blue you guys that is something for a blue eyed blonde eyed or bl blonde haired gal has got to own that eyeshadow look at that oh my gosh it's gorgeous that's why I got it I had to get it because it's it's that so pretty it's like a sapphire you know a true sapphire blue oh my gosh it's so pretty and then this is the other one that was there, and it's Infinite Sky. And it is a very light blue. And I also had to grab this because it was there. And I'm Lynette. Gosh dang it. She was like, oh, I got you all the rest of the infallibles you don't have. I'm like, what? She goes to the big city all the time, and L'Oreal is outsourcing all of, the, all of this current line of infallibles. Um, these ones here I got for $2 a piece at Kmart. So, and, and there's that light blue one. Oh, look at that. You know who, these two colors right here, Sam Riley over at Sammy's Makeup Corner would, she's got the perfect eyes for these two colors. So she could, I mean, that, that, that light blue is like the color of her eyes. It's just gorgeous. Just freaking gorgeous. And then I found the Golden Sage, which I'd been looking for for a long time. And this is one of the green ones. And this one, of course, I will wear because it's green and my eyes are green. Matter of fact, my eyes are that color green. So that's pretty cool. So yeah, I got those. Really I happy about those. I a whole bunch of the hip pigments. Now, I don't know if you guys are aware of this line. I'm sure you are. These are very much like the Infallibles. They're just pressed more, like into a solider form, whereas these are almost like loose in there. Um, every bit is pigmented, every bit is gorgeous and creamy and smooth, and there are so many different kinds. There's metallic and matte and pearl, and, you know, there's just a whole bunch of different kinds. And they had a ton, a ton on Blowout, and I asked Lynette about them, and she's like, no, I've never heard of them. So I grabbed everything that they had, one of each, because I have a ton of these already. And then I went online and ordered like 18 more. And the HIP stands for High Intensity Pigments. She collects. And so, you know, these are a nice thing to collect because they're so gorgeous. So I got them for her. And then I got, I picked up three lipsticks. Now these aren't high end, but I picked them up because they were so pretty. And they were on sale for like $3.75 a piece. And they're the L'Oreal Color Riches. And I got number 183 in pink vinyl. And I've seen a ton of beauty bloggers talk about these lipsticks. And it's particularly this color. That's pink vinyl. And these are, they can be built up, but upon first application, they're pretty sheer. So that's pink vinyl. And it's just a classic, you know, kind of a Barbie doll pink. And I like that they're sheer at first. 
for me because, you know, I wouldn't wear them so bam like that. Well, I would. Who the hell am I kidding? So, the, uh, this one is 177 Pink Cashmere, and I really, really like this one. This one is my kind of pink. Although the bright pinks look better on me. <laughs> That's that one there. And then I got a purple one, and it is 175 Purple Chiffon. And that one is right there. And again, Kmart, two seventy five, three seventy five a piece. So, yeah, and these are normally like ten bucks. I, you guys, you guys need to get down to Kmart. Kmart is are having a big blowout, and they're bringing in a bunch. And I asked the girl that was doing, you know, the shelving and stuff, and I asked her, well, why is all this stuff on such, you know, all the infallibles and the hip pigments? Why are they all out here? And she said because they're they're outsourcing them and bringing in new products. And she said she thought they were bringing a whole new line of colors. I mean, this is probably, the Infallibles are probably L'Oreal's biggest ever product ever. They're iconic. I mean, they're, they're a cult classic, literally. Okay, I love you all so much. If you have not subscribed, please do so, and I will see you later. Bye. the fly Bye. with the moon on their wings. These are a few of my favorite things. <laughs> Girls in Uh-oh, I'm done.